Why does oil prices affect inflation? Well, many goods are either directly or indirectly related to oil. So um, many goods like plastics, petrol, jet fuel, all very importantly uh, derive from oil. So when oil prices go up, we have to pay more to get on the plane, we have to pay more to fill up our tank, and so that directly affects um, prices that we pay. And also, of course, um, the biggest use of oil is in transport. So if transport costs are rising, then any good, which is really most, uh, in the economy will rise. Higher oil prices will lead to higher consumer price index, especially for those goods related to uh, oil. Now, it is worth bearing in mind that many goods and services are not directly related to oil, especially services which account for roughly two thirds of the economy. You know, if you go for a haircut, the price for oil has really very limited effect on that. If you go out for a restaurant meal, higher oil prices, very uh, small marginal impact on the price of a restaurant meal. So there's a lot of prices which, don't, which are not affected by uh, oil prices. So the link isn't uh, clear cut. Also, it's worth bearing in mind that um, it depends whether the cost push inflation from higher oil prices translates into other types of inflation. Now, what I mean by that is supposing uh, oil prices double and this causes inflation to rise from 2% to 5%. Now, this may well prove just temporary, like it did in 2008. We had a huge oil price spike in 2008. Inflation rose to 5%. But come a credit crunch, inflation dissipated. It, the oil, the, the cost push inflation was temporary. But uh, in the 1970s, when oil prices rose quite significantly, um, this led to quite a, a prolonged period of inflation. Because at the same time as oil prices rising, unions were quite strong. So they were able to bargain for higher wages. And as wages go up, this really does make inflation more permanent because when wages rise, you get higher demand and higher costs for firms. And as prices go up, it causes workers to try to get even higher wages to keep up. So in the 70s, oil prices were very significant uh, in causing inflation. And it was a more permanent inflationary pressures. In 2021, we have this temporary spike in inflation in America and around the world. Will it prove temporary or permanent? Well, that's a good question, and uh, nobody entirely knows. Many economists feel that uh, it will actually just be temporary because underlying inflationary pressures are quite low. Others point to evidence that wages are rising and um, the increase in uh, money supply that occurs with quantitative easing. That may start to feed through to inflation, but we'll see. Personally, I expect it to be temporary, but if you're watching this video in 2022 and inflation is 10%, then you'll know that I got it all wrong. So, um, yeah, just one final thing is that it might be worth saying that inflation affects inflation less now than it did in the 1970s. And that is because, um, well, we're slightly less dependent on oil than we used to be. Cars are more fuel efficient, they have less uh, petrol needs, but also we're starting to shift away from oil-based energy. So you have cars running on electric, you have um, a greater diversity of energy sources than we used to. So as time goes on and maybe environmental pressures uh, try to encourage the economy to shift away from fossil fuels and oil, then oil may become less and less important uh, in causing inflation and a, a weaker link. And uh, one study by the St. Louis uh, Fed suggested a link of about 0.27 between um, oil price changes and consumer price changes. But they also noticed a higher link between oil prices and producer prices, which is the price of leaving the factory gate because um, it's more directly related to input costs. And just one final thing is that if oil prices rise, firms may absorb some of that cost increase so that they don't pass it on to consumers. And similarly, when oil prices fall, they don't pass the cost decreases on, they uh, regain their profit margins. So that's another reason why the link between oil prices and inflation may be less than we imagine.